The Detroit Auto Show for us is, uh, is a very important venue to display uh, all the projects that we have at Mopar. Well, we're here today at Mopar to show you a few things that we did with our fantastic cars. One of the ones I want to talk to you about is our Dodge Charger Redline package that we worked with the Dodge team to come out with. Some of the key features on it is uh, on the lower part of the fascia we added a carbon fiber a lower chin spoiler to help that uh, uh, air pressure to push down on the, the vehicle. And then as we move around to the side of the car, we took uh, uh, a unique wheel. It's actually off the Challenger Green MV. We used it on the Mopar 11 Charger as an all black finish. And here we put a, a polish on the inserts to help stand out a little bit uh, differently. Very unique and great use of the do, uh, side door pockets uh, that's available to us with the charger and the fantastic door skin. We again, using carbon fiber, have a nice pocket and paying a little bit of uh, respect to the 1970 charger to come back with the RT badge. Coming around to the back of the vehicle to finish off the appearance items is a three piece, again, carbon fiber uh, deck lid spoiler to help pull down the vehicle and keep it down in place. What we did is we pulled out what is already a fantastic 5.7 liter Hemi engine that puts out 370 horsepower and the stage three for going off road, the 426 aluminum block Hemi brings it up to 590 horsepower. There you have it, our Dodge Redline Charger. Now let me take you through some of the key components of the 200 Super S. You just cannot help but noticing the front grille and the change we did with a gloss black uh, to the grille. We took the uh, wind, uh, the Chrysler badge, put it down, embedded it inside the grille, and did a satin chrome surround on the grille. And then coming down lower, we have a lower chin spoiler again here to help that downward force of that wind to help the vehicle uh, hug to the road, and then also bug the foot fog lamps we have the chrome satin finishing touch again. For the race inspired look we have on the lower fascia on the side a very nice fits in beautifully with the 200 uh, Super S a little side sill spoiler painted to match. You'll see a few things is one that stands out right off the bat a very nicely integrated rear deck lid spoiler again helping with wind management the satin chrome along the back again and then as you look at the back of the vehicle, it has uh, a real nice rear diffuser with uh, ribs going down, uh, spread out across the diffuser to help that air get out from underneath the vehicle. And then you also notice the twin exhaust because now we start getting into the stage two kit. In stage two, you add the cat back exhaust to really help that air get flowing out, a cold air intake to help that air flow into the engine that much better. And then also this vehicle is sitting on the coil over suspension that lowers the vehicle roughly about an inch really helps that center of gravity and the handling of the vehicle. These are definitely two projects that are going the direction giving the possibility to customers to uh, personalize the car to a different with different stage stage kits. So for each car we have different stage kits that are going the direction of uh, appearance or performance or extreme performance such as for instance the Redliner with a 426 uh, cubic engine uh, that is uh, uh, really the extreme performance of a car. It's still off-road but still a performance.